Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you to all our witnesses for, uh, for appearing before us today. Uh, first, is it Dr. Tabak or Tabak? It, it's Tabak. Tabak? Yes. I appreciate that. I've heard it multiple ways said today. I wanted I, to be I answer to hey you. It's okay. <laughs> okay, I appreciate that. All right, Dr. Tabak, you've been with NIH since 2000. Do you believe that Stanford Medical School, Oxford, and ha uh, Harvard hire, quote, fringe medical professors? It depends on the individual professor. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, the reason that I ask is because on October 8th of 2020, you were CC'd on an email from the then head of NIH, Dr. Francis Collins, uh, to Dr. Anthony Fauci. Now, I'm gonna refresh your memory on the contents of this email. It says, hi, Tony and Cliff. This proposal, citing the Great Barrington uh, Declaration, from the three fringe epidemiologists who met with the secretary seem to be getting a lot of attention, and even a co-signature from Nobel Prize winner Mike Levitt at Stanford. There needs to be a quick and devastating published takedown of its premises. I don't see anything like that online yet. Is it underway? Signed, Francis. Again, you were CC'd on this email. Yes or no, Dr. Tabak, did you communicate with Dr. Collins with you about these doctors or the Great Barrington Declaration other than when emailing Dr. Fauci? I have no recollection of speaking to him about that. Hmm. Yes or no? Are you aware of other instances where either Dr. Collins or Dr. Fauci plan to have the media publish articles to discredit other scientists or doctors during the COVID-19 pandemic? I'm not aware of any such instance. Of course. Now, as Deputy Ethics Counselor at NIH, aren't there ethical concerns about using the U.S. government to silence scientific speech, particularly peer-reviewed speech? When the stakes are so high, right, as they were during the height of COVID-19, shutting down economies, keeping kids in schools, increased rates of mental illness, addiction, suicide, et cetera. And now, of course, we know that the collusion between Twitter and the Biden administration has come to light. Does that not concern you? I'm unaware of any collusion. Um, I know there's ongoing litigation. Oh, you know what, oh, that's, that's good. So I'm I glad I'm going, so to, I I'm going to enlighten you then. So just a few months after that email, this email that you were CC'd on between Dr. Francis Collins and Dr. Fauci, you have records of this and I'm sure there are others, just a few months after that, Twitter was directed by the Biden administration to deplatform multiple scientific accounts, doctors, Nobel Prize winners. They went so far as on March 14th, 2021, in internal communications between top Twitter executives and the Biden administration to say, we are very angry. The Biden administration needs a push to deplatform these multiple accounts. These deplatforming de of accounts were of course related to the great Baring, uh, Barrington Declaration. And they said, according to the Biden administration, to Twitter, that not enough had been done to silence these doctors. Dr. Tobik. Did, the, did you provide Dr. Collins with any ethical counsel or advice on this matter? This is a subject of ongoing litigation, and I, I can't comment on anything related to the social platform. Who else at NIH did you talk to about the Great Barrington Declaration and its authors? I don't recall speaking to anybody about that at NIH, quite frankly. Okay. I, I know I'm running lo low on time, but I will say this. Contrary to some of the comments that have been made here today, and we're not going to get to the bottom of this in 53 seconds, but contrary to the comments of some of my colleagues today, actually just now, apologizing to you all for bef uh, before appearing before this committee, saying that we're taking you away from your primary responsibility. You have a responsibility to appear before this committee, just as we have a constitutional responsibility for oversight. That is our duty to the American people. If I were you, I would clear your schedule. This will come to light. I appreciate you all being here today. Thank you.